tax credit 2023 for individuals what they mean and how they can help you get a tax refund welcome back everyone so happy to have you back for another update this information is being shared from irs.gov a tax credit is a dollar for dollar amount taxpayers can claim on their tax return to reduce the income tax they owe eligible taxpayers can use tax credits to reduce their tax bill and potentially increase their tax refunds or be eligible for a refund now refundable versus non-refundable tax credit some tax credits are refundable if a taxpayer's tax bill is less than the amount of a refundable credit, they can get the difference back in a tax refund. Some taxpayers who aren't required to file a tax return may still want to do so to claim refundable tax credits. Not all tax credits are refundable. However, for the non-refundable tax credit, once a taxpayer's liability is zero, the taxpayer will not be eligible to get the leftover back in a tax refund. There are a wide range of tax credits and the amount and types of credits vary year by year. So you want to make sure you stay tuned to this channel for all of the updates as well as check the irs.gov website taxpayers should carefully review current tax credits when preparing their federal tax return always review eligible tax credits with your tax preparer and as well stay tuned to this channel as well make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell now earn income tax credit one refundable tax credit for moderate and low income taxpayers is the earned income tax credit the irs estimates four out of five workers claim the eitc credit which means millions of taxpayers are putting the EITC credit to work for them. Unfortunately, there are millions of workers who qualify for the earned income tax credit but don't claim it, missing out on thousands of dollars. Make sure you share this video with anyone who may be eligible, and that includes workers who are grandparents and raising their grandchildren, Native Americans, veterans, self-employed, uh, workers without a qualifying child, recently divorced, unemployed, or experienced other changes to their marital, financial, or parental status, uh, workers below the filing requirement with earnings, not proficient in English, living in rural areas, as well as workers receiving certain disability pensions or have children with disability. All of these are potentially eligible for the Earned Income Tax Credit. Uh, you can find more detailed information and all of the other requirements by going to irs.gov, type in the search publication 596, which is the Earned Income Tax Credit. Now, moving on to the Child Tax Credit and the Child and Dependent Care Tax Credit, the child tax credit is a non-refundable tax credit and reduces a taxpayer's tax liability. To qualify, the child must be a U.S. citizen under age 17, have a social security number, be claimed as a dependent on the taxpayer's tax return. Qualifying children may include foster children or extended family members if they meet other criteria. Dependents not eligible for the child tax credit may qualify for other credits. Taxpayers who paid someone to care for their child or their spouse or dependent so they can work or be a full-time student or look for work may be able to reduce their tax by claiming the child and dependent care expense. For more detailed information and all of the other criteria. For the child independent care expense, search on irs.gov for uh, publication 503. Now, moving on to the American Opportunity Tax Credit. The American Opportunity Tax Credit is for qualified education expenses paid by or on behalf 
of an eligible student for the first four years of higher education. It is partially refundable if the credit reduces the amount of a taxpayer, uh, amount that the taxpayer owes to zero, they can get a refund of 40% of any remaining amount of the credit up to $1,000. Taxpayers can get a maximum annual credit of $2,500 per eligible student. The amount of the credit is 100% of the first $2,000 and 25% of the next 2,000 of qualified education expenses a taxpayer paid for each eligible student. Usually students will get a tax form for this particular credit. So make sure you are always checking uh, during tax season for that particular form to take it with you when you file your tax return if you have a student in college. Now, to claim the full credit, a taxpayer's income must be $80,000 or less, $160,000 or less for married filing jointly. The credit phases out entirely for taxpayers with income over $90,000, $180,000 for joint filers. Search publication 970 on the irs.gov website for more uh, detailed information on the education credit. Now, other credits you may be eligible for that can help you get a tax refund or family and dependent care credits, income and savings credits, homeowner credits, electric vehicle credits, health care credits. You can go to the irs.gov website, type in the search interactive tax assistant which is a tool where you can answer specific questions to your household makeup and it will let you know if you are potentially eligible for a particular credit make sure to search that on irs.gov all right the uh interactive tax assistant ita2 <music>